My fellow Americans, as I stand before you today, I have many good things to announce that America is still the most prosperous country in the world, that America still has flourishing open markets, and that America is still a leader and a representative of democracy in the world. But in order for us to keep these achievements we have made throughout the course of our nation's history, we are going to have to make common sense solutions to fix the problems in our government. Right now, in Washington, we see bickering and games, but no compromising. We see politicians bowing down to big corporations, but not fighting for the people who voted for them. They fail to even put common sense solutions forth to streamline and make our government more efficient for us, the taxpayers. That is why I'm running for president. Plain and simple, I'm running for us. My whole life, I've worked as hard as I could to improve our way of life. Whether it was fighting communism alongside my parents, or questioning the pesticides the Dow Chemical used, fearing it might destroy our earth, or promoting healthier and safer food when I had my organic food business. The one thing these things all share in common is that they were all geared toward one goal, improving our way of life. You know, we see lobbyists running around Washington for Exxon and GE. Where is the lobbyist that fights for us, the American people? They're nowhere to be seen. Well, I hope with your support, when I get elected, I can be that lobbyist that fights for the common person. I have many sensible solutions to put Americans on a prosperous path, like streamlining government and eliminating duplicate programs, but at the same time keeping the necessary funding for our most vulnerable citizens, like cutting the fraud and abuse out of our entitlement programs, yet improving benefits and care for Medicare and Social Security to meet the needs of the 21st century. Alongside these proposals, I have many fresh new ideas to ignite the American economy and improve our way of life. All of these ideas will create jobs and still be deficit neutral. My seawater pipeline will bring much needed fresh water to the arid deserts of California and Las Vegas, ultimately solving their water shortage. My maglev train idea will be a simpler and cheaper method of transportation when traveling across country and it will be powered by renewable energy sources such as wind and solar energy. Or consider my homestead renewal plan. In my homestead renewal plan, we propose that the government be buying foreclosed homes and run down homes and offer people jobs, fixing them up. These people will learn a trade and can have an opportunity to own their own house, making the dream of home ownership the reality for many Americans. All of these ideas, along with other ideas, if implemented correctly, can truly restore America and bring it to the most prosperous time America will ever see. And if you agree, like me, that Washington needs fixing, if you agree that we need real leadership to ignite the American economy, then I encourage you to join me on my journey to re-inspire America. By joining our campaign of freedom and prosperity, we will be joining a revolution like no other. A revolution to fix America, balance our budget, provide health care for all, and bring democracy back into America. Go to www.americasthirdparty.com to learn all about this. And thanks so much, and God bless America.